Jacob Astor Spell was born on a farm in rural Sampson County near Spivey's Corner on December 22, 1945. He started life with a handicap that in the end only helped to make him the person he was. His mother taught Jay how to play the piano, and at age five he was performing on the Durham TV show Saturday Night Country Style. Born blind, Jay attended the School for the Blind in Raleigh. He lived too far away to commute, so he stayed in the dorms. Since music lessons were free, Jay learned how to play both the piano and the violin. At the age of 10, Jay met another blind student who went on to become a lifelong friend. Together, he and Ronnie Millsap were consumed by music, studying it, listening to it, discussing the songwriters, and analyzing the records they heard on the radio. While in high school, Jay and Ronnie formed a duo that played at various sock hops around the area. Jay on piano and Ronnie on guitar. As time went by, they added a bass. When they graduated from high school, they went their separate ways. Ronnie to Nashville and Jay to the Oberlin Conservatory as a piano major. But for Jay, rock and roll ruled. So in 1963, he left school halfway through the second semester and returned home to live with his good friend, Dave Buckler. Together, they formed a band called Davy and the Delmars, which played all over the Carolinas. The group stayed together for almost six years, and then in early 1970, Jay and Dave decided to move to Memphis. On a prior trip, Jay was asked to do some studio session work. So when he moved to Memphis, Jay became the session piano player at the Beautiful Sound Studio. Word of Jay's talent spread around Memphis quickly, and in December 1970, he was recruited by Steve Cropper to join him in his new studio, TMI. Cropper's studio was quite busy with artists such as Poco, David Clayton Thomas, Jose Feliciano, and Tower of Power recording there with Jay on the piano. 